Welcome to episode 25 of Talking Shirts. I'm Mike from Hull KR Shirts and today I'm going to take a look at the 2020 Home Shirt. Now, the 2020 Home Shirt, it was made by Oxen and we had the, the Dream Company sponsor appearing across the front there. So this was the first uh, 2020 Home Shirt that I had added into my collection. And this one I'm really, really excited by. Um, it's got so many little quirks and a few little stories about it. Um, and I've also been able to, to photo match it to a known game. So all of these little nuances to me make this shirt very, very special. So um, where do we start? Well, the, the 2020 home shirt was a white shirt and it's got a red band. The red band is only on the front. It doesn't continue all the way around the back like it does on the replica. Uh, I've mentioned this in a previous video before, so I will pop up a little picture just so you can kind of see the differences um, to the backs there. Just before we get to round to the back, because when we do, we'll have a little bit more to talk about. So, um, there was actually a, a slight difference in some of the shirts that uh, Robers wore in, in 2020. Um, there was a slight printing issue at the time of printing, and the, the Oxen and the Robers badge aren't quite in the red colour. That was fully intended they've got a little bit of an orange tint to them so this shirt was worn earlier in the season before they um, had reproduced the second batch of shirts and um, there's a couple of differences um, in terms of the club badge and also a couple of the sponsors but as we get to them i'll, I'll touch upon those a, a little bit more so this shirt um was worn in the the challenge cup um defeat against the leeds rhinos um in the quarterfinals so again, again, I've been able to, to photo match uh, this shirt to that game. So um, I will spin it round and we can have a little bit of a closer look at those patches. So on this sleeve, we have got the, the Coral Challenge Cup sleeve patch. So this has been ap applied over um, one of the original Super League badges uh, that was underneath there for the, the early part of the, of the competition. Um, due to the sponsorship with, with Coral, they obviously have an arrangement for the games that are on television. That there'll be a sleeve patch applied with their branding on for the competition and for their company. So something else that's really interesting is the the logo here for Easy Buy. So this was one of the things that didn't quite um, align properly in terms of the the colours. So I'm going to pop a picture up here so you will see that at the top you've got the Easy Buy logo that I'm currently showing you, and then the Easy Buy logo as it should look um, on a different 2020 home shirt. So as you can see, the colours there just didn't quite match and they had obviously the shirts reproduced swinging it around to the other side so we have the the bad rhino sponsorship so that featured across um all of our 2020 shirts so it featured on the home shirt it featured on the away shirt and it also featured on the 2020 2021 uh, mind charity shirt as well so um those were heat applied so that's got its own little patch very similar to the the league sponsorship on the other side and obviously we've got the rsv logo above in their traditional colourway. So swinging it round to the back and this shirt was worn by Weller Haraki. So um, Weller had been with us for 2019-2020. Um, in 2020 he was made joint captain alongside uh, Mossy and he was a, a player who if I'm going to be really honest when he first signed for the club he didn't exactly uh, excite me as a signing but his performances in 2019 for me really sort of lit the touch fire paper underneath him under his career at Rovers and it really put him you know up in the minds of of the supporters in the way that uh, he would always deliver on the field and he always gave a hundred percent of commitment every time he represented our club and um, he continued that in the early part of 2020 and unfortunately things didn't quite work out for him to earn a new contract uh, with, with Rovers uh, but I would just like to go on record and thank Weller for everything that he did with us um, over those two years including captaining um, our great club so the the design to the name and the number on here is in the super league uh, 2020 format so um it's a different styled number to that that we saw on the 2019 shirts and and before that it is a new a new design um, one thing that made this shirt very easy to photo match is, is this number one here and um, it's a little bit higher up and it seems to be quite a way away across the shirt and um, compared with where the other number one is it maybe needs to be a few inches to the right there 
Um, not that I should really be telling Burns how to do his job because he does an incredible job printing up um, numerous shirts for many players um, across every season. Um, but yeah, for me, maybe just a little bit a little bit that way. But on this occasion, it did make it easier to photo match. So Burns, thank you very much for that one, mate. Um, the shirt, as I say, it was worn um, against Leeds. Uh, I'll pop a picture up here now uh, of Weller in action during that game. Um, and you can see I, I've taken this from uh, from the Sky TV uh, footage, and you can just sort of make out where the uh, where this number one is kind of in a different place um, on the other shirt, and everything else lines up in terms of the H and in this line here and the I and this line here. Um, something that I've got I've developed quite the eye for being able to to line up a shirt um, with uh, an image. Um, I, I've been through so many now. It does become easier each time, but it's not always easy to find something. It sometimes does need that little bit more more attention. Um, another um, sp sponsor issue up here was with the NEC. Uh, it wasn't quite in the original uh, intended colour, so um, again that was corrected on the on the second batch of shirts. So I'll just pop a picture up so you can see the top one being this one, and then the colour as as it should be. Um, I think that okay, yes, it was an error in this scenario that probably shouldn't have happened but the fact that it got resolved and at the speed that it got resolved as well um, was something that for me just kind of show how well the, the relationship between Rovers and Oxen is um, some kit manufacturers might have just said oh well you know live with it for the year they didn't they you know they, they corrected the issue um, and I think that we should be uh, tipping the hat to them for that um, some people may have not even noticed um, if you haven't then um, you know it obviously wasn't such a big deal but I think that these, these brands deserve to have their logos in the correct colours that they've asked for. Um, especially when you think about how many of these brands change their colours to have uh, a different colourway appear on a shirt to make it look a lot better with a more natural colour that fits in with the styling of the shirt rather than um, their usual colourway of their company. So um, I think that that deserves to be, to be applauded all round. There we go. So that's been the, the 2020 home shirt. Um, next week, uh, in, sorry, in two weeks' time, when I do episode 26, that is going to be the first anniversary special of Talking Shirts. Episode 26 means that I've been doing these videos for one whole year. All right, guys, so thank you very much for watching. Check back in a couple of weeks' time. Take care and see you all soon. Bye-bye.